Hello and welcome to this first tutorial. With this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install Creo Parametric and set it up on your very own PC. Now you can install it onto a desktop computer or your own laptop. The only thing you'll need is at least one gigabyte of memory on your PC. To do that, you will be given a USB flash drive. Now on this flash drive there is a folder that says digital manufacturing. Before we get into anything, what I'm going to do is I might help you navigate your way through the folders that are on here and show you the resources that will be very useful for you when using Creo Parametric. Now the first folder up the top is Boat Design Tutorials. You're not going to need that yet, but if I open that up, okay, this has a number of different tutorials in here that are going to be very, very useful to you when you modeling up your the hull for your boat and the deck once you get to that point. Okay, that's going to be very helpful. If we go back, okay, the next folder is components. Okay, and these are some components that will be um, incorporated into your, your own boat. Okay, so there's some motor mounts, couplings, strutters, washers, etc. that they've already been modeled up for you. Go back again. We'll skip this one. We'll go into, there are some tutorials here. So these tutorials, there's some exercises that you'll be able to do that will help you when you're learning how to use Creo. Go back and in generic Creo tutorials, we we'll click on there. Some also some really, really handy tutorials there for you. When you get some time, have a bit of a look through that. Okay, now we'll get into installing Creo onto your own computer. So if you click in this folder, Creo Academic Edition M020. First thing you're going to do is go into install the folder. Click on add on. And we're going to install this quality agent 32 bit. So just double click on that. And that's going to install for us. Just click next. Agree. Next. And install. Okay, those files should be copying over now. And finish. We're going to go back now. So I'm going to go back into Digital Manufacturing, back into Creo Academic Edition M020. And simple, you're going to go into Setup. So double click Setup. Click Yes. Now it's going to prompt you what to do from here. Okay, so we want to install new software. Click Next. Accept the license agreement. Next. Now it needs, you need a license identification. What you'll need to do is you'll need to send me an email. What I will do is I'll reply to your email with a product code. I have a product code here, which I'll open up. All of the product codes are going to be different. You'll need to email me and I will give you a product code. That product code then goes in there. Okay, click on install licensing. Now, you would have already set up a PTC account. So what you're going to need to do is put your username in and the password in that you put them there. It's usually your username is usually an email address and the password that you would have already put in there. Make sure you remember your passwords. And log in. Okay, that's gone through. Licenses are all available and click next. Now what it's going to do, it wants you to select what platforms you'd like to download. Now you can download them all. I'm only going to download Creo Parametric at the moment because that's all I want to be using. 
Yep, and come back checked and click on install. Now it may take a couple of moments for what you want to download to download. Okay, now that everything has finished installing, just select finish. Okay, now the first time you load Creo, it may take you a few months for it to load, so just be patient. Okay, but it should be ready for you to start using now. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you.